Welcome back everyone. In this video, I want to introduce you all to a video player component. The package we will be making use of is React Player. This package is capable of playing a variety of URLs like YouTube, Twitch, Dailymotion, Vimeo and so on. Let's begin. As always, I've started off by creating a new project using Create React App. Now open the terminal and run the command yarn add react hyphen player. Once the installation is done, we should be able to use the component provided by this package. I'm going to head over to app.js and clear out the header section. I'm also going to edit the app.css and modify the app class to be display flex justify content center. All right, now we can import our React Player component. Import React Player from React Player. Now, using this component is really simple. We specify React Player and then pass in a URL prop. The value, I'm going to add the URL to the React Redux tutorial. And that is all there is to it. Let's save the file and in the terminal, run the command yarn start. When the page loads, you can see that we have a video player on our screen. If I click inside the player, the video starts. Hey guys, my name is Swish. Click again and the video pauses. It works, but I would also like to see the native player controls. For that, we can pass in the controls prop. So on the React Player component, we specify controls. Now, if we go back to the browser, you can see that we get the play hey guys, my name is and the pause button, the volume control, the progress bar, and all the other controls as well. Now, the other two main props which you might be interested in is the width and the height. By default, the width is set to 640 pixels and the height is set to 360 pixels. Let's change that. Since I don't have much space to work with, I'm going to set the width to be equal to 480 pixels and the height to be equal to 240 pixels. If you save this and take a look at the browser, you can see that we have a smaller video player. You can of course increase the size depending on your viewport. All right, the last set of props I want to discuss is the callback props. These are basically events that get called when something happens with respect to the media player. We can have on ready, on start, on pause, on ended, and on error. There are a few more props, but these are something that would be of interest to you. For now, I'm going to simply add log statements. So let me quickly copy paste the code. So we have on ready, where we log on ready callback, on start, on pause, on ended, on error. And they all have a console log statement. If I save this, go back to the browser, open the DevTools console. Let me reload the page. And on page load, you can see that we first have the on ready callback fired. I play the video, we get the on start hey guys, callback. My name is Vishwas and welcome. I pause the video, we get on paused callback. And if we try to, let's say, end this video, you get the on ended callback. And if I go back, change the URL to an invalid URL, go back to the browser, 
we get on error callback. So we weren't able to load the video. Finally, let's just try to play a Twitch video. Now the only channel I watch on Twitch is one called T90 Official. He basically streams Age of Empires, which is a game I love. So let's just use that URL. So the URL, I'm going to replace the YouTube one with the Twitch one. If we go back to the browser, you can see that we are able to play the Twitch video. Saying as well. Again, there are tons of other props that might be of use based on your requirements. My intention is to simply introduce you to the library and you explore all the remaining features. Well then, that is about the React Player NPM package. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.